This video review is being brought to you by PrimeToys.net. PrimeToys.net. We can get collector grade toys without the collector grade pricing. PrimeToys.net. And be sure to stick around to the end of this video for not one, but two codes to be used on PrimeToys.net for great discounts. And I'm a reviewer, so let the reviews be joined. Hey guys, it's your friend Donabot back yet again with another video review. As you can see, we're going to look at Titan Master Blur. An ex headmaster target master becoming a Titan Master or Headmaster. Pretty cool. This guy is pretty awesome. But the, let's look at the packaging on him real quick. 16 steps from vehicle to robot or robot to vehicle. And his Titan Master Hyperfire instead of Haywire from the previous target master does something to Blur that makes him even better. Makes them even that much faster. Increases his speed. So in this video review, don't forget that he, you know, this is just this is the Titan Master, not the head Target Master. So if I say Haywire, it's a Hyperfire. You understand why. But let's go on and look at Blur here real quick. We'll get this stuff out of the way. And for his accessories, of course, we have two. We have his gun. Which is pretty nice. Definitely a nice real looking small gun here. Which you can again store on Blur. Which we'll look at again here in a moment. We'll just set this here. And we got Hyperfire. Haywire. Whichever you want to call his name. A definitely nice little Titan Master here. Uh, we'll go ahead and look at him real quickly. Definitely nice head sculpt. He's got nice blue. Real tight joints on him. Nice silver in his arms here, and of course a little bit down here on around his feet. I'm not sure whether that's coming across on cam. I do apologize. Definitely pretty cool. And of course you got a nice head sculpt here for Blur. But we'll look at all his transformation to Blur here shortly. We'll just set him aside. And with the Blur, the figure himself, as you can see it's a definitely nice G1 homage here. Definitely looks really, really good. You got the dark blue paint, everything. You got the nice, uh, I don't know what you'd call this on here, uh, antenna, basically. On there, you got the light blue for his shield and everything with the Allbot logo. Definitely really cool. It rolls really well, as you can see, with the wheels on the bottom. So it's definitely really cool. Uh, you can, again, raise this panel up. Just like Target, the Target Master could not do this, but the Titan Master can. You can store him. A little seat right here. You set them down, you can fold that back, lock it into place. Which on that, we'll get in more on this. The panel in here, as you can see, it's kind of hard now to pop up. He's got these little veins type things here that slides right in, but it does kind of rub. It's so tight right there. So it does lock that, but it's still pretty good. You can take a gun, you can take his gun here, and you can store it on the bottom. But you have this peg right here that you, what you're going to use is take that and you got a hole right there on the back of the gun that just slides right in. And that's how you basically store it to give it that gun on there. Which is really, really nice. It looks really good. If you're looking at the whole body, of course you've got the light blue here along the sides. Great boosters back here. Definitely looks really good on the bottom. Of course, you do see, don't really see a lot of robot, but you kind of kind of see it looks really really good. You guess you got the wheels here, here, and here, which gives it that roll. So definitely pretty cool. Now again, transform this guy is real simple. We'll just take the gun off here, and we'll go ahead and get haywire or hyperfire out of here, out of the way, and we're going to lock that all the way back. Oh, before you do that. You have the, the seat here does raise up for hyperfire, but you want to rotate that down out of the way when you lock this back down for transformation to robot mode. Transformation robot mode is real simple. You want to first start right up here at the front. You'll grab right in this general area. You'll pull these out. It's got two pegs here, right here on the side of the, the this, this shield here, which can come off for robot mode. I just rotated this down to show this off. You got a peg here and a peg there, which you will rotate all this out like so. Do the same on this side, rotate that out. 
and you will rotate it. You have the peg right, hole right here, which will peg right into that. Well, excuse me, it kind of does, doesn't really. I keep wanting to think it does. It's these pegs back here that peg in. I keep wanting to think it's these because they're so much bigger, but you just peg that up. You can see it nice clicks nice securely. You rotate this panel down, which again, this does detach here. You can just slide this off. It's on two little pegs. Oh, it doesn't want to come off. There we go. You can see it just slides right here to these little slots here with these little pegs. We'll set that aside for the time being. Rotate this down. And you can see the wheel slots real well into this little hole here to just to get it out of the way. Next, you will unpeg this section, these sections back here for the legs. And just like with Combiner Wars, or some of them, you'll unpeg those to rotate this out. Rotate it down, straighten it out, and rotate this back, locking it back into place. And his foot is right here. You rotate that down, straighten that up. Do the same on this side. We'll do it from the front the way this way. Rot um, open it up, rotate this down, straighten it out. There's a peg right here that will peg into that peg hole. You'll lock that into place. And you rotate his foot down. And we have Blur's lower body done. Rotate these down. You'll then rotate this section back, which locks really good. Rotate that up and around, like so. It locks securely into place. It's on a double hinge there. Do the same on this side. Rotate that down. You can see the rotation there for the hinge. It doesn't really peg in, but it does sit really securely. We'll rotate that down, straighten his arms out, straighten him up, and we have Blur in his body, or his body ready for the Titan Master. The Titan Master, of course, Hyper Fire or High Haywire as the G1 was for the Target Master. You rotate his body up, locking it, and he also has a little bit of boosters on his bottom of his feet, so it does kind of give you the little speed deal. And again, he does have a really nice head sculpt for Blur. And like Scourge, you have a little antenna here that you raise up. So that definitely is pretty cool how they did that. And again, you just rotate this, or not rotate, you just peg this into the top here. Locking it into place. Oops. Locking it into place. Nice and secure. And we have Blur in robot form. Uh, definitely really cool. I, I really do dig this guy. Um, looks really, really good. You take basically his shield here. You can rotate. There is supposed to be a little bit of rotation there, but I guess not. But uh, There's a peg here that you basically use this to peg onto one of his arms into his hand. Well, before we do that, let's go ahead and show his rotations or his articulations. Give me... He's got a ball joint for a head on his head. Rotate it up, down, turn it all the way around. Swivel this all the way around like so. He's got the elbow articulation, of course. He does have the rotation bit here, pivot there for his arm. No real hand articulation, finger, of course. Finger articulation. It does rotate. So you do have that. He does have the ball joints here, which a little, just a tiny, tiny bit loose, not much. That uh, you can rotate there. He does have a swivel for his hip, or excuse me, his waist. Uh, does have the swivel here, right below the knee, or above the knee. Of course, he got the knee swivel. And he doesn't really have any feet articulation other than the bit for the transformation. Uh, but, uh, and you slid down again but take the course you can take this do it this way just to give it because when you do it this way it actually gives you a little bit more bend to it if you want to use it as a shield I personally don't really like using it at all like that I just keep it stored back here on his back like he in vehicle mode which again just to do that all you do is just peg it right up like so and I think it looks really good stored back there. It makes him actually gives him a little bit more back there too. 
Oh, I almost forgot. I thought I was forgetting something on this guy. Rotate this up, and you take this in extra antenna, and you rotate this into his leg just to get it some stored and out of the way. Completely forgot about that. Now let's give him his gun, which really tight joint or peg there for it, and it gives him a nice look. We got blur here in robot mode. Tight master blur. Pretty darn cool. But that being said, guys, this is just the this is actually gonna be the end for this wave of the, the deluxe size Titan Masters. For, uh, pretty cool way to end this. I do like this blur. Uh, his paint, I kind of wish that had done a little bit more lighter. If you've seen the Takara version of this, the Takara does look really good. I'm not doubting this. I am not in the least bit. Still looks really good. But I think that just the paint for the Takara version is just a little bit better than this one. Uh, next, guys, don't forget to check out the PrimeToys.net, my sponsor, for all your collector grade stuff. Because you can get, you know, you collect great toys without the collector grade pricing. And you can use during this month of August, if you want blur or any other deluxe ways that we've looked at, you can use not one but two codes for them. But granted, you can't use them both at the same time, but you can still use them. During this month of August alone, you can use, you go in there and you find $75 worth of product. As I mentioned before, you can go in and you can pick up all four of these waves that I've reviewed. The Blur, the Hardhead, the Scourge, and the Skull Cruncher. You can pick all four of them up together in one package for like $60. If you want to pick up another Scourge to complete, get you a sweep uh, use, or if you want to pick up another Blur, you're more than welcome to do that. You put those together for $75. There's your order. Go into checkout. At checkout, you type in the code Transmissions Titans. When you put that code in and you go to check out, what you're going to do is not only will you still get all these figures, but you actually get an extra Titans Wave 1 or 2 figure for free. Now, I mean Titans figure, I mean these guys. I don't mean the deluxe figure, I mean this guy here. The Wave 1 or Wave 2, I believe, has Nightbeat. Uh, is one, uh, I think, Fang, Ape, Fra Ape, excuse me, Ape Face is another. Basically, one of those for free. But this is only while supplies last. So, definitely worth checking it out, guys. If you don't want to use that code, if you want to just use the regular code of transmissions, you can get 10% off your order at checkout. So, be sure to check those guys. I'd highly recommend you using the Titans code just so you can get the extra Titan Deluxe class figure. Or, excuse me, not Deluxe, excuse me, the extra Titan figure for free. Uh, and that's again, that's only while supplies last, so there's no guarantee that he may, if you don't do it quick, he may run out. I don't know. Uh, but that being said, guys, to also check out the Transmissions Podcast, because if it wasn't for them being sponsored before me on, on sponsorship from Prime Toys, we wouldn't have those great codes to be used for these guys. Uh, I'll have links to both of those. Not only the, I also have the copies of the codes down below. Be sure to check them out. As always, please like, comment, and share these videos. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe. But this is the end of this video review, and I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to hear from you soon.